Welcome to a Marbets edition of Cereal Wednesday. I'm Poppy, and today we are talking about Kellogg's Pop Tarts Ice Cream Shop. I'm going to review the Frosted Vanilla Milkshake flavor. And this says it has 25% less sugar than other leading toaster pastries. So we're going to talk about that. Interesting. It doesn't say it's a new flavor, but honestly, I had never heard of the Ice Cream Shop line of Pop Tarts. That very interesting. Regular pop tart packaging. Nothing exciting there. Ooh. Here's what the pop tart looks like. It's got frosting and sprinkles. That's exciting. Twitter wants to smell it. She's over there. It smells really good. I'm gonna try it not toasted. I need another bite. There was a lot of toaster edge on there. I haven't quite gotten to the vanilla yet. Hmm. It's very subtle. I do like vanilla. And I do like vanilla frosting. Because I love frosting. But it's really, really subtle. It doesn't really taste like a milkshake, it just tastes like frosting. But that doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It's just a little more subtle than I was expecting. And I don't know if you just saw that, but when you break it apart, it's a weird oozy goo. It's like paste. I don't know how I feel about that. Let's talk about the box. We need the ingredients inside. Regular directions for Pop-Tart toasting. Microwaving is three seconds. I always do mine longer than that. But probably days you wouldn't want to do that because I kind of like my, my Pop-Tarts on the burnt side, but not quite burnt. So serving size is one pastry, which is 48 grams. Calories is 190. Total fat is six grams. Cholesterol is zero milligrams. Sodium, 190 milligrams. Total carbs is 34 grams with dietary fiber being only one gram. Sugar is 11 grams and protein 2 grams. Let's see, vitamins and minerals. Total wants FaceTime. Vitamin A is 10%, C is 0, calcium is 10, iron is 10, diamond is 10, riboflavin 10, niacin 10, B6 10, folic acid 10. Woohoo! And then for the ingredients, the number one is enriched flour, which means that they stripped it down and then enriched it again. Don't really understand why we do that, but whatever. So wheat flour, niacin, reduced iron, thiamine, mononitrate, blah de blah de blah, meaning we stripped down a natural product and then built it back up again. Crazy. Hmm. Lots and lots of sugars in various types of names and not seeing anything too awesomely good for you. High fructose corn syrup, definitely, and there are lots of corn products named in here. We watched Food Incorporated this weekend on our Apple TV, which we just got. You should watch that if you'd like to learn more about corn. Please do. And for allergens, contains wheat, milk, and soy ingredients. I am not enjoying the flavor of this. I'll take another bite from the other pastry, just in case or some sort of quality control problem. Let's see how it does. Ugh, it's just pasty. Yeah, still not good. So, considering disgusting looking paste doesn't taste like what any vanilla milkshake I've ever had tastes like. It tastes kind of like paste. Doesn't have good vitamins and minerals. Doesn't have good for you products in it and is very bad in the good parts of your nutrition, high in fat, but not good in the good carbs or in protein. Did I like anything about this? Dare I say it? I'm gonna go zero balls. I don't like anything about it. Nothing. 
to your balls. And since I promised to say, this product contains 25% less sugar than 75 of the top 100 toaster pastries. Did you know that there were 100 toaster pastries? If you count their individual brands, I guess so. Contain 11 grams of sugar per 48 gram serving compared to 16 grams to 21 grams per 50 to 54 gram serving. Well, I promised I'd tell you. I still am not impressed. Zero bowls. That's been Marvix. See you next week. Have a good one.